Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this new series, we are going to learn about how to implement cryptography in our Android project. So I expect you uh, to know about cryptography uh, before we start this project since it's just an implementation of uh, cryptography in Android. Let me give you a brief introduction about cryptography in overall. So it's all about protecting your data over the internet. For example, if you want to send a text to your friend that you don't want anyone else open your packet and see what's inside. Uh, for example, for end-to-end -end encrypted messengers like WhatsApp or Signal or messengers like that, you always encrypt your data and transfer it over the internet and give it to your friend. So your friend has the key of this packet and he's able to open the packet uh, based on the key that your two friends have handshake it to have it. And then your friend is able to open the packet and see what's inside. So since it's not about the uh, cryptography explanation, uh, we just want to implement the cryptography uh, features in our Android project. Uh, I'm not gonna dive into the uh, cryptography in this series but later maybe I'll create a video a full video about uh, cryptography what's what's the stuff what's the symmetric is what's the asymmetric is right now let's create our uh, bare hand project I do have a bare hand project here I'll add the dependency here uh, since I'm gonna uh, create this project modular I'll create a new module for my um, project I'll call it crypt Cryptography or cryptograph, whatever. It's gonna have no activity. You'll wait this to be finished. Okay, so we can see our module is being added here inside our setting.gradle. You will see that a new module is being added, but we have to implement this project inside our application level. So I'll use the project and do something like this crypto and then sync and you can see the project is already being added to our main application okay so uh, let's go to the cryptography uh, dependencies and add our bouncy castle library here just like that we're going to use this library to help throughout the whole course uh, it helps us to encrypt and decrypt files and some other features that is being added to our Java security uh, library. So we'll wait to build our module. And also when you want to mark a module as a, a library and use it, you have to change uh, this plugin ID to library and also remove this application ID, targets DK version and uh, other stuff like this. And then press sync, okay, beautiful so to check if everything is working up i'll run my emulator but first let's go to our cryptograph uh, package create a file let's call it a test and it's going to be uh, an object just wanna you know, return some test function test it will return just like that okay so inside our main activity i'll simply just use that test class inside our cryptograph and get this and you can see this is available so let's actually test it using a toast and pass this and pass this as a text just let's make sure it works you can see we can see the hello here which is the return type here okay so uh we are now sure that our library is working fine let's close all of this and inside our main activity, I'll remove this line. Okay, so let's create the bone of this project, this cryptograph library. First of all, I'm gonna create an um, interface called crypto session, and it's responsible for our whole cryptography session, uh, providing the services, the symmetrics, asymmetrics hash functions and stuff like that so the first thing is going to be uh, a function get aes service which is going to return aes service which we will create in a second and the other thing is going to be the implementation of this crypto session class okay so it's going to extend 
from crypto session like this and implements the members so we are going to work like this we will create each service inside our crypto session and then we will implement uh, the aes functions inside the package like this and we will create an interface for our aes service just like that and here we will implement it using this aes i'll create the implementation class aes service implementation and it's going to extend the aes service class okay so you can see we will return the aes service implementation for now and if inside our project we'll create a session using our library crypto session of type crypto session and for now we'll just simply create crypto session implementation like this you can see uh here for example session dot get aes service is available here so using this we are able to use this aes service that's how we are going to work with this uh, whole cryptography uh, session or module that we are going to create. So we will be able to reuse this inside our other projects later. Before dive into the AES or symmetric cryptography, uh, let's end this video and start a new one to start the whole AES encryption in the next video. So till the next video, see you everyone.